Uh, please, uh, please take your seats. I will just make a, a short statement uh, about the trip that I just came back from. But I'd like first to greet Pinuyat ko lahat ng ating mga kasama sa gobyerno. And ito si uh, Vice President Inday Sara Duterte. Uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put somebody on the spot here. Um, the our speaker, Speaker Martin Romualdez, who is celebrating his birthday as of 12 midnight tonight. Members of the cabinet who are who are here. This is well. You see, uh, Secretary Ricky is looking a little tired. Uh, he's been working terribly hard. Wala nang tulugan. The members of the cabinet who are here. The uh, um, well, of course, Pasay District Representative Antonino Calixto and uh, Mayor Imelda Calixto Rubiano. I saw. I saw you. Okay. All right. Uh, Armed Forces uh, of the Philippines Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Bartolome Bacaro, the uh, Philippine National Chief General Rodolfo Asurin Jr., fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am pleased to report that uh, my visit to Cambodia for the 40th and 41st ASEAN Summit was successful. Uh, just tonight, uh, before we got on, before we left uh, Phnom Penh, we met with the members of the Filipino community in Cambodia as the last event of the visit there. I was honored to meet them, and I thank them for their efforts and contribution to our nation's progress and development, as well as that of Cambodia's, because they have been lauded by even the Prime Minister Han Sen as part of the reconstruction of uh, Cambodia the Filipinos played a very large part. Uh, well, of course, I updated them on what is happening in the country right now, the programs, the policies of our administration. And uh, before that, we, I actively I participated in the 40th and 41st ASEAN summits and the related summits. The, uh, for me, it was a very interesting experience because it's the first one that I've been to. I've been to ASEAN summits before, but certainly not as president. And it was... Uh, um, I, I can see the value of uh, having these summits because although you, the, you, there isn't a chance to sort of exchange views like uh, possibly like uh, we do, uh, there is a very, very clear way of putting that, that, all the, that it is an opportunity for all the member states and our dialogue partners. Meron tayong mga sa ASEAN may kinukuhang iba na kausap din na ibang bansa kahit nasa labas ng Asia, at uh, lahat yan, and they to give their positions, which gives you a very good idea of where uh, things stand, uh, what are the concerns, what, are the situa what is the situation in other places, and all that. And you, tayo, uh, sa Pilipinas, we also got the opportunity to put forward our position, our plans, and to find ways where we can uh, where we can uh, help each other, where we can coordinate, and all that. Uh, I think it was, uh, it was uh, quite gratifying to see that there was a very large area of consensus amongst the um, uh, ASEAN member states. Ganun pare pareho kasi sa atin, yung food supply, presyo ng uh, fertilizer, presyo ng langis, uh, yun ang ginalala, supply side problems. Parehong pareho sa atin. Kaya, sa, nag, at saka, bukod pa dun, ay may, merong nagkakaunawaan lahat ng member states na hindi kaya nang mag-isa. Kailangan magsama-sama, magtulungan. And so, that is, uh, that is I think, the, uh, uh, the most important uh, uh, 
takeaway from this uh, trip for the ASEAN summit. And then there were related summits where I met uh, not only with my fellow ASEAN leaders, we discussed ASEAN community building efforts, pressing regional uh, concerns and issues. This included the situation in Myanmar, the developments in the South China Sea, the uh, fighting in Ukraine, the application of, uh, uh, of Timor-Leste for ASEAN membership, amongst others. We also had summits with some of ASEAN's dialogue partners. The dialogue partners are ASEAN's partners who do not necessarily belong to Southeast Asia or even Asia, but we consult with them, like the United States, like Australia, like New Zealand, um, Canada even. So that, uh, the, these are who the dialogue partners are. And we had special sessions just for them. And we reviewed the progress of our relations so far and the initiatives and projects under ASEAN-led mechanisms. We, there was an exploration of possible new areas of cooperation uh, with the, our dialogue partners. We exchanged views on uh, regional and international issues. We participated in a global dialogue, which happened this morning, uh, with regional international organizations and discussed collaborative efforts on a comprehensive post-COVID-19 economic recovery. And then Jung IMF, uh, Klaus Schwab was there. Um, the, uh, uh, the, the, the Chinese professor who, who gave us a briefing on uh, food supply. Uh, so it was, it was really very, very uh, instructive. And I'm happy to say that when I went up and spoke uh, to this international, the World Bank was there and I spoke to them. And it, it would seem that uh, uh, we thought that in the same way that this is the direction that needs to be, needs to be uh, uh, trod because that's the, that's the way that will bring us to a better uh, uh, economic uh, condition. So, and so in all these meetings, I articulated our national interest and our commitment to working with ASEAN our dialogue partners to find common ground to address the issues affecting our region and to strengthen cooperation. I had bilateral discussions with, Cam with Cambodian Prime Minister Han Sen. I congratulated him on Cambodia's successful chairmanship of ASEAN this year. I also had uh, bilateral meetings with His Majesty the Sultan of Brunei, the President of the Republic of Korea, the Prime Minister of Vietnam, and uh, earlier today, the Prime Minister of Canada. In these meetings, we discussed how we can deepen the cooperation in key areas, and we exchanged views on important regional and global issues once again. I also met, we also had a round table uh, discussion, uh, very, that, that, was the first, that was the first event, uh, with the, uh, organized by the Department of Trade and Industry. And we are nurturing relationships. We talked about uh, uh, all kinds of subjects with these business leaders. They can open doors for our SMEs uh, so that they can participate. Even SMEs can participate in the uh, foreign market. I invited the business leaders to visit and have a look at what the opportunities that they might find in the Philippines arising from the process of transforming the economy, given that it seems our direction for post-pandemic recovery is bearing fruit. Now I've jinxed it, haven't I? <laughs> our discussions touched on collaborations on specific sectors such as food processing, energy, housing, medical care, uh, the manufacture of garments, bags, education, training. Uh, we also, we constantly constantly came back to the subject of food security, to, where, to see where the private sector can contribute on ensuring that we have a sufficient food supply at prices that ordinary Filipinos can afford. I wish to thank uh, all our uh, cabinet ministers, Kasama natin si uh, Secretary Ricky and uh, Secretary Irwin, uh, secondary nights, uh, we, they, they were quite overworked. 
uh, throughout the whole time, but uh, that's what it takes to, to have a uh, fruitful, uh, fruitful uh, uh, time in our, in, our, uh, the in our summit with the ASEAN. Uh, the, our secretaries uh, were ably represented their respective sectors during the summits, and the Philippine Embassy in Phnom Penh, I like to thank them as well for all the uh, work that they put in to lay the groundwork and to support us while we were there. The, I thank also the Cambodian government because they expend, extended a very warm welcome and uh, exhibited some uh, very fine hospitality to the Philippine delegation. We look forward now uh, to working with Indonesia as they are the incoming chair of ASEAN next year. Maraming maraming salamat po, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat, at mabuhay po ang Pilipinas.